morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. How y'all doing? It's Kaiser. Welcome to the post end of the world after the eclipse. The uh, Mark safe from believing this was anything other than just the moon moving in front of the sun fiasco. What is happening? It's Kaiser. I've gotten back to the whole news that matters most to y'all. And no bigger news at this hour at this time than the <laughs> the American Society of Magical Negroes. Boy, where to even begin with this one because um yeah, this was a this was a weird situation from day 1. So Look, I'm not going to try and sit there and rehash this too much. This would be really short to sweet to the point. But I do have some stuff I want to get into. So, yeah, this movie came out and immediately people were not exactly vibing with it. And then the movie actually came out in theaters. And surprise, surprise, this movie that had been pretty much billed from day one as a giant fiasco of all the things trying to hate on white people and you know, that kind of stuff. Whole lot of very racially charged messaging and that kind of thing that particularly hates on only one particular demographic. Just saying. Yeah, um, yeah, that that movie. Yeah, completely fucking bombed. <laughs> one million dollars in its opening weekend. Son of a bitch! Yeah. Movie absolutely did not do well at all. And it gets worse. I mean, that was back on March 19th, whenever uh, that announcement was made that it had only made $1 million in its opening weekend. Well, we have got another high milestone for you. Because after only three weeks in theaters, the American Society of Nat Magical Negroes has been pulled from theaters after only three weeks. <laughs> I mean, whoo. Emotional damage. Yeah, let's not get into uh, the spoilers here. But yeah, so the budget was estimated $15 million. And yeah, it was very, very quickly hated on. Even NPR. The absolute left-wing bastion of complete what the fuckism over at NPR was like, yeah, this is nah, this is no good, man. Not good. It just absolutely blows my mind. And then you go over here to Rotten Tomatoes. It's only sitting with a 28% uh score by the critics. It says 64 from percent with audiences, but let's actually do a little bit of a deeper dive. So the all critics is 28%. Top critics only gave it a 19%. The verified audience, 64%. All audience, only 26%. Um, to be or not to be. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty ouch there. To be or not to be. Not to be. All right. Well, let's just see. Because, I mean, it's got bad rating. It's got, you know, badly rated. $15 million budget. I mean, this movie had to at least make a little bit of money back, right? Well, no. The American Society of Magical Negroes has left the uh, theaters after its three-week run with only a combined total domestic take of two point four million dollars. That's it, whopping two point four million dollars. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yeah. Two million four hundred and eighty thousand six hundred and forty five dollars total made on this movie. Again, that's against a 15 million dollar budget. That's not including that's the 15 million dollar estimated production budget. That's not including 
any of the uh, additional stuff like, you know, marketing or advertising or anything, which they probably didn't have to do a whole lot for. But I mean, still, you're probably, I mean, if I'm guessing, I'll, let's just use the, the age old metric. That's still $30 million, mm, at least $30 million against $2.4 million in take. Somebody is going to be uh, having a lot of explaining to do to uh, the studio. Uh, World of Reels got the inf same information. American Society of Medical Negroes pulled from release after only three weeks and $2.4 million intake. Yeah. The greatest breakdown I've seen of this so far comes to us courtesy of Bounding into Comics, though. So report the American Society runs out of magic, ends pathetic theatrical run three weeks after debut. And yeah, let's just read the article here and just kind of get the, the full scope of things. I'll try and breeze through it as quick as I can. The American Society of Magical Negroes has completely ran out of magic as Focus Features makes a the decision to pull the film from theaters after a three-week run because audiences simply did not show up to watch it. While there's no official announcement from the studio, the numbers confirms that the film's last day in theaters was Thursday, the 4th of April, ending its pathetic theatrical run 21 days after the film debuted to overwhelmingly negative reviews. Debuting at 1,147 theaters across the United States, the American Society of Magical Negroes was barely able to make $1 million at the box office opening weekend, grossing $524,695 on Friday, a measly $469,070 on Saturday, and an even more disappointing $310,505 over a pathetic total of $1,304,270. Woof. I mean, yikes. <laughs> so, yeah, going further on into this. So, I'm going to kind of skip down a little bit further here. So yeah, Focus Features is still keeping the film's production budget under wraps, but any movie that barely manages to gross to a whole over two point, only $2 million at the box office in three weeks after its debut can already be considered a financial disaster. Okay, from, from people inside the industry, it, the estimated, estimated budget was about $15 million from what we can find. It might be higher, it might be lower, we don't know, and the official numbers have not been released, and I've tried to find them, they just don't exist, but yeah, industry insiders are saying that the that it's probably about 15 million, estimated. That's ouch. And so, yeah, upon release, critics were vocal about their displeasure with the American Society of Magical Negroes. On review aggregator site Rotten Tomatoes, the film had a critic score of 30% and 59% audience score. Similarly, the film was met with mixed or average reviews on Metacritic. Based on 19 critics' reviews and a for a disappointing 52 out of 10 and a user score of 0 0.5 out of 10, based on 43 user ratings for a overwhelming dislike user score. Yeah, the the, uh, the little white tears meter that they use in the movie. In case you really want to know where this movie's but you know, bread is buttered. Yeah, word of mouth didn't help the film either. The self-described comedy. Yeah, terrible. Um, okay, let me stop there for just a second. Self-described comedy. This movie is not a comedy. This movie is basically the equivalent of mm, cinematic self-delete. I'm just saying. This is terrible. This is absolutely awful. This is not comedy. It's not funny in the least bit. And let's, I can tell you, there is a key and peel sketch. It's, uh, you know, what if Hogwarts was an inner city school? I can't play clips from it because I would get, uh, I would get taken down immediately for it. But seriously, look up the, uh, the comedy skit, uh, by key and peel. If Hogwarts was an inner city school, watch that. It's, Two minutes and 50 seconds, so just shy of three minutes. It doesn't waste your time. It's funny. It hits a lot of the same kind of, like, notes without becoming a condescending, just asinine, you know, just, you know, wine fest like this movie is. It's, it's, 
yeah, it, like I said, it's funny. It doesn't waste your time. Comedy is universal. This is not. The self-described comedy helmed by deb <laughs> Let's just, uh, debutante director Kobe Levy. Yeah, this is de his debut film, FYI. Had already faced scrutiny at when the trailer released, shamelessly describing white people as the most dangerous animal on the planet. Yeah. Adding insult to injury, the official trailer for American Society of National Negroes sees Smith being recruited by David Allen Greer's character because he's good at making others, specifically white people, feel good, explaining to Smith's character that white people's discomfort levels are measured in white tears. Uh, the official trailer shared to Focus Features YouTube channels met with with just over 2,000 likes and well over 25,000 dislikes, garnering just above 2 million views on its first day after being posted. One day after posting the trailer for this movie, 2,000 likes, 25,000 dislikes. That right there should have been a big red flag to the uh, the creators of this dumpster fire that maybe we want to rethink this. As of writing, however, the trailer has received 10,000 likes, has been disliked over 147,000 times with 7.2 million views in the three months since it was first published, which again is hardly surprising, Think <laughs> all things considered. Even more fascinating is the fact that American Society of Magical Negroes still has to release internationally. Both IMDb and the numbers confirm that the film has yet to release internationally. Yes, revealing that it is expected to debut in Germany and the United Kingdom on the 25th and 26th of April, respectively. Oh, boy, howdy. I I um I just be expecting this movie to do absolutely gangbusters in Germany. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my lord. You gotta be kidding me with this. Yikes. The final nail in the coffin is the fact that Focus Features released the American Society of Magical Negroes visually and on VOD on April 2nd, making it available for audiences to purchase for $29.99. So that's, you can buy it for $29.99 or you can rent it for $19.99. <laughs> I, I just, how do you, how do you, where, what, what? I just don't, I don't even know how to properly put that into, um, into words here. And if you really wanted proof of this, then, uh, look, you ha you can, you don't have to go very far to see you know this this exact information here one second let me uh let me pull this up do the old um yeah do the old uh tab there okay check this out okay i'm not even kidding right now i i, I just swear you can actually rent this thing so this is on Amazon Prime right now, rent UHD nineteen ninety nine, or buy it for twenty nine ninety nine. I I seriously look. You cannot make this up. It is right there. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Do you really think people are going to pay twenty bucks to rent this piece of shit? I really don't see that happening, let alone buying it for, you know, 30 bucks. I just don't see it happening. That's just my opinion. And I'm just saying. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate all of y'all out there. Thank you so much for hanging. And yeah, I know I did not have a video on Monday or, yeah, or Tuesday. But yeah, due to the eclipse. And then, of course, um, having yeah, you know, basically not a whole lot of else going on in the news at the time i decided to do a little bit of a live stream so go check out my live stream from uh is like from monday night it was a good time we hung out played some air like i got to do some work on my model kit and yeah 
It was a great time. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.